Jim, tell us what is a float box? The float box, such as the one on the silver plate evaporator, is the device that monitors the liquid level in your pans. On a drop flue, there's only one float box. All it does is, um, it's adjustable. It sets the liquid level of your sap in your pan. Okay, so just in general, give us a quick rundown of how a float box works. Like, sap comes in and... The sap off. enters into this port right here from your head tank, your overhead tank. And as it floats in the box, as it, as it fills the box up, this float picks up and closes off the valve where the sap comes in. When the box fills with liquid, this float right here, mm -hmm. it'll make more sense when I pull it out, that float floats up and closes off the valve right here where the sap enters. Okay. Alright, so how do you regulate what well, the depth is? Let's get this float out of here first. That is the float. It is vented, meaning this stem is actually open to the float so that as this float gets hot, it doesn't have a tendency of expanding or bursting. Take note that the stem is not centered. You'll note that as it tips, the stem is located further to one side than the other. That's because when this regulator is on there, it will the, the, the front face of this regulator becomes dead center of the float so that when it's in your float box, it doesn't tend to tip one way or the other. It's perfectly oh, wow. balanced. Okay. So when I put that in, just take note that the long dimension here is what goes in under the valve arm. This is the regulator. These are your five major settings on the float box. You want to start your evaporator somewhere in the middle here that's going to give you about two inches or so. You can go up or down from there. Uh, that'll give you about two inches above the flues or above the bottom of a flat pan. So the regulator just drops in over the stem and you hook that in any of the settings on your regulator. Like I said, those slots are your major settings. This is your fine tune adjustment, so you can dial it into a very precise liquid level if you wish to. Okay. Now, now like I said, this is the middle of the road here. Okay. By going higher on these settings, you're actually running less liquid level in your pan. So the higher the mark on this regulator, the less liquid level you have. This top mark here will give you the least amount of sap in your pans. The bottom setting will give you the most liquid level in your pans. The top setting is going to be your lowest level of sap. bottom setting is going to be your deepest liquid level of sap. Um, as far as cleaning, there's no boiling happening in here. You're not developing sugar sand. It doesn't get very dirty. I showed you how to take the float out for cleaning purposes. Okay, and what's this on the side here? That is the sight glass that allows you to um, see the liquid level in your pans without having to look into the steam and try to decipher what's going on with the raging boil. It gives you a nice even um, view of what's going on in the pan. This is the sticker, this is the scale. It's not, it's not uh, on the glass at the moment. That's up to the operator to put that on. So once they get their evaporator set and leveled out, they can put it on in a more precise way. Okay, so it kind of confirms what the float box it gives doing. you the peace of mind and it allows you to make the adjustments with your float box very accurately. Okay. Great, thanks. Do you have anything to say? Anything to add?